Hello and welcome to Trinity United Methodist Church Daily Prayer for Thursday, January 4th, 2024. Well, I had to think about that for a minute. I'm still stuck in 2023. We're in a new year. And today I'd like to make our prayer focus uh, be from Lamentations. And Lamentations isn't the book of the Bible you hear too much about because it's, it's really kind of a sad story. Uh, Jeremiah the prophet is uh, lamenting for Israel, for Jerusalem, for its destruction because the people didn't do as God uh, wanted them to. They were allowed to be carried off uh, the good the good and the uh, the wealth and all of, all of it of Jerusalem was carried off by Nebuchadnezzar and only left behind was uh, the poor and the people who had very little to, to hope for. And Jeremiah was lamenting or praying or offering songs up about the desolation they were going through. And I think sometimes lamentations, even though we're not experiencing the desolation that Jerusalem has, the, the words in lamentation can echo through our world today, all of the things that uh, trouble us that we see in it. But even amidst all that, Jeremiah gives us a ray of hope and uh, before we get to that our actual prayer focus for today I'd like to talk a little bit about Lamentations and, and it tells us uh, in the narrative before the uh, book that the author gives me that uh, we're reminded that our suffering sometimes may be re re reflected in our dire a direct sin that we've done sometimes consequences of a sin that we've repented for are um, we're forgiven for the sin, but we still have to suffer the consequence. I think of David and Bathsheba. He, he asked for forgiveness for his sin with, with Bathsheba, but still they lost that child. Uh, so there was a consequence even for King David. And the other thing, uh, we're reminded that even during our darkest hours, God will strengthen him, strengthen us, if we turn to him. So... Keep those three things in our mind. Is if things are going your life are not going very well, you know, or if you're experiencing the after Christmas blahs, as, as Reverend Robs calls it, um, remember God is with us all the time, and He's there to help us through those difficult times, and He's also there to remind us not to get too puffy about things when when it's good, not to rem to remember it's Him that's blessing us in abundance. It's not ourselves. So, so as we as we go and read our verse for today, Lamentations chapter three, I'd like you to think about those things, and because it's important. One of the things we do in community here is we pray. We are praying together, and the power of praying together has is great. God hears the power of His saints, especially when they come up in abundance in great numbers. So, it's not a uh, Exercise, it's not an exercise that we do trivially. So let's pray together. Let's stay together. Let's pray for our church, our nation, our world. In Lamentations uh, chapter 3, verses 21 through 24, remind us, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I said to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. We're all waiting for the Lord. We just celebrated the birth of Jesus. We're waiting for him to come again. So let us rejoice in that. And let us be beacons to a world that needs to have all the light shed on it that we can. And live in a way that uh, Jesus taught us to. So we can help others come to him during this time that we wait. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for the hope that we have in you. We're thankful for this community of believers who pray with us each, each day. Let our prayers go up to you with strength and with power to deliver us from all the troubles that we see in the world. Lord, we're so grateful for the abundant blessings that you give us. Some of us may not be feeling that anything is wrong in the world or our health is good, we have good jobs, we have everything that we need. But Lord, help us not to become conceited in that. Help us to remain humble 
and help us to share our abundance with those in need. Lord, those of us who are suffering either with illness or sadness or loneliness, Lord, um, help help us to seek you, but also help help all of us to be look around and see those in need and help us to reach out to them, just as Jesus reached out to us and saved us for our sins, from our sins. Thank you, Lord. And as we go about this new year, help us to look forward to you, help us to share our hope in you, and help us to be faithful to you in all that we do. We ask this in the sweet name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We, may, we pray this prayer. Amen. Well, thank you, and I hope your new year gets off to a good start. Your family is blessed, and that uh, you continue to pray for our church and our community and our nation. For together, God will answer our prayers. Remember, as Pastor Jim always says, whatever our situation, Jesus walks us, is right there with us, walking with us, guiding us, encouraging us, and blessing us. So remember that and hold on to that. Have a great week.